What we're also seeing is this frame has been used for brood a lot of times. See how dark the wax is compared to the hive we had last week, which had really bright, uh, fresh looking wax. So good idea to cycle these out to the edge, which has already been done in this hive. Um, a few months back, we cycled these ones from the center to the edge. And what's happened is all of the brood has emerged from the cells and have replaced it with honey. And now we can take this right out of the hive, cut the uh, comb out of it and put it back in towards the center. So what are we seeing on that one? We've got honey up here, which has been in there for a while because the footprints have built up on it and it's got darker capping compared to this little bit on the edge, which is lighter. So there's two frames we can cycle right out of the hive. What we're gonna do now is shake the bees off this and then we're going to brush the bees off if we can find a bit of foliage to use as a bee brush. Okay, shake, shake. So that gets most of the bees off. And then what we're gonna do is just brush the rest of them off. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll do. So I generally just use a bit of foliage so it's disposable when you're not moving pathogens from one hive to the next, but it is popular to use a bee brush, which you can buy. And uh, you just need to make sure you're sterilizing that bee brush then. Cut the comb right out here. And this has some pollen on it, which is pretty, have a look at the colors of pollen there. Isn't that beautiful? It's got a whole lot of earthy tones with oranges and beige and white. And that'll be really interesting to taste as well. So we're getting a few bees around here. So we might have to take this away. You don't want to leave comb out for bees to feed on or you'll be encouraging robbing and then you're in a world of trouble with bees stealing honey from hives. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just simply slice along the edge. This doesn't have any wire foundation, any, any wire or wax or plastic foundation. So what we can do is simply slice right down this comb guard here like this and that will just drop right off we can take that back to our office and enjoy the flavors of the comb okay these are going back in now it's good to put them towards the center where we will put it in between two others that are already drawn and we might go across one more just to put that further in so it's more likely to be used for brood. And the whole idea is we show you what we do inside the beehive, show you what's going on in there, and give you some tips and tricks and the opportunity to ask questions. So don't be shy, get in there, ask questions, and that'll help, hopefully, you and others get started in this wonderful pursuit of beekeeping.